Now, let's join the boys on the road. Harold, the Flyway Highway is on the roll again. What do you say, brother? I say that's great, Craig. And where are we headed to? I'm glad you asked, my friend. We are headed to the Razorback State, Arkansas. We're going to be hunting at a place called Paradise Wings Lodge, and the reports are in. They are covered up with ducks. Ooh, I like to hear that. Check out that trigger finger, brother. She's a starting to twitch already. Heck yeah. I think it's going to be another great hunt on the Flyway Highway. Hey, it's day one of our East Central Arkansas hunt. Now we are in the Brinkley, Arkansas area. We're with Ronnie Steinbeck with Paradise Wings Lodge. Ronnie, tell us a little bit about our setup here this morning. This morning we're in a buckbrush swamp. The uh, ducks have been hitting in it uh, until it froze over. It froze over, they quit hitting it, and it's opened up again, and hopefully they'll get back in here. Well, I sure hope so. Now this is our first stop in Arkansas this season on the Flyway Highway. I'm looking forward to it. We got our flambeau set out in the hole in front of us. Big boy, you got that 870 cocked and locked? I do now, Craig. All right, man, let's hunker down and get to it. All right, watch out, cameraman. Woo! There we go. Hey, we're, we're uh, getting off to a good start here outside the Brinkley area. The birds now, it's a little bit later in the morning. Uh, the birds that were in this timber, you know, they went out to feed. They're going to come back. Uh, we splashed our first one. Almost took out our cameraman, but that's all right because, you know, the cameraman's expendable. We can always get a new one. Uh, what do you think, Harold? Right on, brother. Yeah, now, who, who shot that duck, me or you? I did. Shot first, killed it. No, no, no. I, I, nah, I got to disagree with you on that, big boy. I think uh, nah, I shot chance. second, but I think I whacked him. No, nah, first I think, one. I think you missed. I think first you one folded him. No, nah, I think you whiffed. Yeah, I think bro. I'm on my game, baby. You're I think this 870 is going to be spitting fire this morning. Ah. Fire in the buck brush. I'm ready to go. Nice shooting, big boy. That's a way to dump them. Thanks, buddy. You know, I, I really do think as the day progresses, we're going to get into some more and more action. Like I said earlier, we're hunting this roost. Now, we don't typically hunt roosts. But this is the last weekend of the season here in Arkansas, so you know why not hunt the roost? You know the season's over in two days. Gloves are off, buddy. Yeah, gloves are off. So let's uh, let's whack and stack some birds here, huh? I'm hoping for some good air. You know Ronnie's got the property here. There's no question about it. I mean he's got the birds too. We just gotta we gotta you know just wait wait till they come back into this buck brush. We should be in store for a good shoot. Heck yeah. Up top, big boy. Up top. Cut him. Cut him. There we go. That's. Watch out. Watch out. Incoming. Holy smokes. That thing almost decapitated you, big boy. Hey, Harold, that is a beautiful Drake Mallard. I mean, look at this. This is a hog. Look at the neck on that sucker, huh? It's beautiful. Boy, that's a. Oh, we got a triple tail, a triple curl on that baby. Cool. Oh, and look at the band on its leg. I think it'll go on my lanyard. Wow, you didn't even notice that when you passed me this duck, the jewelry hanging off it, didn't right, you? Right, I, I missed it. <laughs> Psych, I'm joking. No, oh, okay, we're getting off to it. Yeah, things are going good. Let's keep on. We're getting them, you know, onesies, twosies. But I, again, I think as the, as the afternoon wears on and we get into the, the waning moments of the day, I think they're going to dump into this thing so that the action could get fast and furious. I hope so. So, but this, you know, this is good. We're racking them up. Slowly yes, sir. But surely. Now we're out here hunting in this flooded buck brush and I want to show you a neat product we always use when we're out in this type of environment. It's called a stick in the mud. So you can see behind me my 870 is leaned up against a tree, kind of precariously too I might add. Alright, this is dumb. It's dumb and it's dangerous. When you're out in this kind of environment, you need a stick in the mud. Now this is a very simple device that works, it works great. Basically it's a piece of PVC, you stick it in the mud, hence the name. It's got this piece here to rest the bottom of your gun on and it's adjustable. And really all you do with the stick in the mud, put your gun right there. You can adjust the top part, tighten that up. There you go. It comes in its own carry case so you can get it in and out of the field easily. It's a, it's a smart item to have. Um, again, don't lean your gun up against a, a branch or a tree. I mean, that is just a recipe for a disaster. Get yourself one of these, play it safe. There 
There you go. Nice shot, Harold. You got him. That's going to be one heck of a retrieving that's buck brush without a dog, but you splashed him. All right, load up. Come on, let's shoot some more. Now, we're running out of light. This is the, uh, the end of the day here. We've got probably 15 more minutes of shooting time, but the birds are coming home to roost, and we're going to pounce them. Nice shot, Harold. That's a way to splash him. Thanks, buddy. I got this one. I got this one. Got him! Oh, yeah, that's a penny, too. I hope that had a nice sprig, because I just dumped him. I mean, the way they're coming in here, they're just everywhere. Heck, yeah. Yeah, we can catch them with a long net. Yeah. 